I'm Will. I'm Norm. You're yelling. Hi, Will. How are you doing, Norm? I'm doing very well today. Uh, so we have a package. Fuck. It, it was on my front doorstep on Friday. It's fragile. It is fragile. Norm was trying to sit on it a minute ago, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, what this is is a maker bot. It's brand new. It has my home address on the top, so let's not put that on the internet. But let's actually let's put it on the floor and open it up because I was going to open this at home, and the pack job was too cool to not show you guys. So, uh, whoa. Okay, hold on. Before unpacking, read me before unpacking. I just wanted to break open the box. Good God, man. I'm going to page one. How to unpack the replicator. replicator. It's packaged very carefully at the MakerBot Bot Cave. We'll hope you take your time and be just as careful unpacking it. Very careful. Extremely careful. Do not force or tear anything out of place. Hmm, I was going to tear open the box. So what are you supposed to do? Don't tear open the box. You're supposed to lift it, just like I was doing. Lift. First, you take the inside lid off. Okay, inside lid is off. Oh, I see a replicator. I see a replicator. Now you gently, gently lift Lift. the edge around. The the next instruction is very important. Do not grasp it by that black cable. (laughs) But it looks like a handle. It looks like a handle. It still looks like a handle. I'm going to lift this out. Wow, pre-built. That was the easiest build ever. I know. I thought we were gonna take like thirteen hours again. Okay, time lapse. Done. I think uh, I think there's a few things down in the bottom there, but more stuff. Yeah. So this is like power bricks and things like that. I think uh-huh. if my reading of the instructions is correct, I'm rolling back over. Okay, so it's not completely built. There are some things we have to do. For example, ah, uh, there are many steps. Well, hold on. Go to step two. Step two Don't is open ahead. the accessories box. Open the accessory box. Accessory box? Right That's here. this right here, dude. Look, see it has the wire on the top. Okay, it's that one. Ooh, it's a step shooter. Okay. That's more marks than Iron Man. <laughs> that is more marks than Iron Man. I think I can just lift this out. Okay, that's done. Okay. Lifting this oh, out. Okay. Well, okay. Oh, so that's supposed to stay in there. Now, this is a great shot for people at home. I'm taking the step extruder out. There it goes. This is an empty box now? Yeah, that, no, there's no, still no, stuff in there. No, so this is the step extruder. This is the thing that takes the plastic and poops out uh, molten hot little plastic bits. I'm going to put this down behind me. Uh, so what's in here? Roll kept on tape, it looks like. Wow, big roll. That's Well, that's for resurfacing the build platform. And then this is uh, tools to help you resurface the build platform. Synthetic grease. Oh, save super that. Lube. That's important. We need save to... the super lube. It's super. Uh, and then a target. Oh, so this is to give us, let us calibrate the build platform, I assume. Okay. Okay, I'll set that stuff in there. What's next? Next, step three. Take the step extruder, mark eight, out of the box. I already, done I already that. did that. I'm one step ahead. Raise the build platform. Rise. Okay, so I can twist the, the shaft here. Grab the platform firmly on both sides and lift with gentle pressure. Or pressure. Gentle pressure. Ooh, and then there's a replicator. All the way to the top. Uh, flip back. Uh, lift and move it as far up as you can. Okay, done. Should we reach the, uh, the black mount. That's it. Now you finish unpacking it. That's it. Save the box. Always save the In box. In case we have to send it back. Yeah. Uh, okay, now initial hardware setup. Okay. Are we going to do that right now? Yeah. What? Okay. I mean, Install the cable retainer plus. Where is that? With the build platform raised, you have a view, clear view of the black cable There's the black that leads cable. from the electronics cavity to mm-hmm. the build platform. Attach to the, the it's really uh, hard to read upside down. Attach the cable as a black retainer, cable retainer clip. Now find the small round hole slightly the left center at the rear of the wooden, rear of the wooden plate below the build platform. At the rear of the wooden plate below the build platform, what the? F- oh, it's already in. Oh. Is that this? No, no, no. Do you need to take these, this out? Oh, maybe this I, did, did you, you didn't tell me to take those out. I say to take those out. <sighs> okay, remove the packing material and the filament. Oh, thanks, Norm. Some good instructions reading. Yeah, you're skipping ahead. I think you have to take the stack stuff out first. Is this two boxes or one? It looks like two. Okay. This is 
is just cardboard. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to gouge it. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Two boxes here. Filament. It's one kilogram. One kilogram. What color did you get? I got blue. I got white. Nice. We still have a whole shitload of other colors from the previous Maker Bots. Okay. okay. Now it looks like there's probably some stuff I can do down here. Oh, yeah, here we go. This guy, where does it go? Where's right the here. hole? That hole right there. That's a mm -hmm. weird place for a cable hole. Snap the cable clips into place. Simple enough. Snap. Ah, I heard a snap. Even the child can hear this. Next step secure the MK8, the Mark 8 step shooter, onto the mount. I have the step shooter Mark 8. Okay. So this is the best chance we're ever going to get to look at it, actually. Which way does which way does it, if uh, these guys are going to go down? Are the fans in the front? The hex is in that bag in the front right there. Um, which way the fans are front or the fans are side? Oh, this is a different looking one than the one in the picture. Uh oh. No, that's okay. No, the fans are on the front. Okay, so the so see these guys right here are the things that get hot. Um, and there's two of them now. So the filament goes in the top up here, threads through. These are motors that, that force it through. They have the little cogs inside, and the cogs will push, push, push. Uh, and then the hot plastic comes out of the little tiny hole in the bottom here, which is, I think, uh, like uh, 0.25 millimeters or something. And the fans face forward. Secure it with bolts and the wrench. Secure okay. Bolts. So that's going to sit right here. Boy, that fits perfectly. How nice. And um, uh, you underneath? I, now I need to push the build platform back down, I assume? Yes. It does not say that specifically. Oh yeah, lower the build platform all the way by turning the screw, the threaded screw behind the platform, or grab, grabbing and pressing down. Okay. I got two black bolts from the box. Okay. Give me the black the bolts. Black bolts from the box. Here we go, these guys right here. Here. These two, they're two little ones, right? Uh, yeah. They fit in the bottom? Yep. Okay. Okay, so this is going in. Secure it with the bolts. These are M3 bolts, it looks like. Ah, uh, and the replicator has four feet, which I'm getting next. Are they rubber feet? They are rubber feet. I didn't tighten those all the way. I seem to just put them both in first and then tighten them. Rubber feet? Boy, it's nice. So this this tray for the for the uh, print heads, the motor, the whole assembly just rests in. That's mm. really super cool. Wow, this is I'm, much I really easier. Like that it's pre-built. <laughs> I wonder how long it took for them to build this. Um, pretty fast. I think now. Bree said that yeah. Now once they got going, they got pretty fast to the point that they can do like three or four a day. One person can do two or three a day. Okay, and then there's spool holders that only to slide in place next after oh, the feet. I'm having trouble doing this by the touch. Okay, oh, I, got, I don't have the bolt in. I'm gonna come around the front. We only have 30 minutes for this. Why do we only have 30 minutes? Because that's the maximum mic this video can be. Oh, oh. Because of our choice of camera? Yep. Oops. Yeah, I guess we can always start and restart. Stop and restart. Put it all back in the box. No, 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 I mean, pick up uh, previously. Okay, so heads. cinching in. Oh, look, there's a screen on the front. It has the it has all the control stuff built in on the front. I, I, the last time I looked at it, I guess I didn't notice that. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, it was the hardest thing ever to have this sitting in my house all weekend and not open it. Okay, ready? You put it on feet. I'm lifting it up. Put it on feet. One foot. Two foot. Two feet. Right foot. Uh, Okay, that's that side. Three. Just oh, those just clip onto the side of the wood? Just clip on the side of the wood. That's cool. Four. You're missing your diagonal. Oh, God. Okay, let's now step down. Yeah, this is an easy thing to hold like that. Ooh, rubbery. Now, spool holders. Spool holders? One spot not in here. Are they in the spools? If you have two spool holders, if? Why is there if? Maybe they're. We should have two spool holders because we have two print heads. Hey, we're back. And we're back. And we are now going to, we're at step nine now. It turns out we don't have spool holders. I think we have to print those. They look like they're printed from this picture. Okay. 
Um, so we can print those up after. Yeah. And then step nine, install the filament guide tubes. I have guide tubes. Okay. Uh, so where do they Locate go? Locate them. Yeah. And they fit into the tube guide holders in the top of the replicator's back plate. That's these guys right here. Okay. Well, the back oh, plate, you can kind of see feet are right all. here. Yeah, those guys. So they, so where do they, and they, they go over to the, and, and do they go into the, the top? the very end of each tube onto its holder and click them closed with the thumb and forefinger. There it goes, clap them in. Clamp. Ah, the sound of clamping is There we go, one. one. And go, clamping in. You can't, uh, I can't thumb, and I thumb and forefinger. Thumb and forefinger. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so now I gotta do the other one. Other one? Other one fits in the gray ring on top of the extruder. Push yep. it in as far as it will go. I've already done that. Okay. Don't force it. You gotta be real careful with that shit. Don't force it. <laughs> Always don't be forcing. And, okay. And then plug in the power supply. Almost finished. Really? Mm hmm. This is much easier than last time. Oh, yes. So here's a power supply. It's plug not, that it in. used to be a PC power supply, but now it's just in a the brick. back. It's a wall war. I hope it's low draw when it's not being used. We can test that. And uh, does it feel really hot in here? Wait, I think it's always hot in here. Ooh. Right. Okay, I'm rotating. I'm plugging okay. in power. All right, are we gonna boot it up? I think we should boot it I up. I think we should boot it up. Yeah. Uh, it'll ask us to mount the filament spools at the end, but we don't have the spool holders. So we have to print the filament. So spool we'll have to hold it up. Is that, your, a USB? is that a USB? That's the last thing. Oh, okay. I need the other part of the power cord. There we go. Also, I need electricity. Luckily, there's an extension cord right here. Looking around for electricity. I have electricity. I need to get my laptop. Oh, over. there. I, I, I've been, you got it. You got it. Mission accomplished. Good job. Good job, kids. Untwist. Ah. What are all these extra screws for? Uh, good question. Okay, I have the USB A to B cable. Oh, the most precious USB cable, printer cable. The classic? You know, we used to just call those USB cables. And then plug that in. Do I have to plug in the computer? Don't plug the other end into anything yet. Okay. Well, here Make here. sure the power switch is in the off position. I did that so already. Hold. Okay. USB is in. This I'm one is serving. replicator number 104492. <sighs> Made in Brooklyn. We should have asked for uh, 17. 1701. Okay. I don't think that that would have worked. It's not in the brain. No. Okay. No. So this okay. is the 10,492. All right. Now we got to uh, put the spools on the spool holder. We don't have any don't spools. don't have yet. Yeah. And that's the last step. That's it. We're done. And we can turn it on now. Okay, one of the feet came off. You did a bad job putting on the feet. The feet don't adhere that well. So I guess I, I guess wobbling the... We also another missing foot? another foot on the side. Looks like he's missing a foot on that side too. If you lift up, the feet just fall off. Well, that, that seems like bad design. We can use some glue there. Okay, I have a hot glue someplace here. Okay, so what do I do now? Power it on. Really? I'm a, oh, there it goes. Welcome, I'm the replicator. Press the red M to get started. Oh man, <gasps> it's singing! This is much finer spool than we had before. I'm probably gonna press the red M. Yes, press the red M. The blinking M means I'm waiting and will continue when you press the button. Okay. A solid M means I'm working and will update my status when I'm finished. Okay. Our next steps will get me set up to print. First, we'll restore my build. Ooh. It's live. Build platform. So it's nice and level. It's probably a bit off from shipping. More calibration. This is wonderful. This is much better than the old. Find one. the four knobs on the bottom of the platform and turn to tighten completely. Bottom Find of the platform. The four knobs on the. Well, hold on. You can't. You can't lift the platform when the power's on. So we need to. No, no. You have to make the platform go up. Up. I'm pressing up. No. Okay. Up is not working. So we're gonna have to start over. You can't just lift it when the motor's on. So lift off. Don't don't grab it by the platform. Grab it by the plastic. The Always here. grab by the plastic. Don't grab by the platform. Can you get the four four knobs? I don't know. Keep going up. 
You want to make sure you don't crash into the head, of course. Okay, I can see him. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it back on. Okay. I can't find the end of the spool. Right there. Uh, uh oh. What's wrong? It did not have the tutorial. Oh, maybe see if we can start the tutorial again? Utilities. No. Wow. Real menus. Well, that's not what it was last year. Level build platform is what you want. Oh, run startup script. Run startup script. Okay. There you go. Press M to get started. I've read this before. Yes, 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 yes. Find the four knobs and turn to tighten completely. So there are the four knobs in the bottom. Let the Lucy righty tidy. You don't want to over tighten. I'm not over tightening. Okay, there it's good. I'm going to move the extruder to various positions for adjustment. In each position, we'll need to adjust two knobs at the same time. Which filament am I supposed to use? Nozzles put? at the right height are at the right height when you can slide a sheet of paper between the nozzle and the platform. Grab a sheet of paper to assist. I have that. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. Adjust the front two knobs until paper slides just between the nozzle and the platform. Do you want to do this all right now? Yeah, do it all right now. Adjust the front. Do one at a time here. Adjust the front two knobs. You need to go the knobs. other way. Loosening? Yeah, you need to loosen. Pop back up. Popping up. Oh, oh, oh. You can see right here, yeah, as we loosen the springs, pop it oh, all. This the is a much better way to do this. Okay. Uh, are you uh, you're pretty good. See if you can get a slide piece of paper. paper. There. Yours needs to come up more. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty close. Okay, try it again. There? Try it. Well, mine needs to come down a little bit now. Try it. You can slide a pa piece of paper. Okay, so just slides. Very so good. let's try. Let's okay. squinch it up a little bit and try again. Oops, oh my. Try it now. Yep. Uh, no, no. Uh, just, uh, it's cutting. I think your side needs to go down. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. There. there it goes. Okay. Next. Are we supposed to have, have filament in here yet or no? Uh, we will. Yes. We will need to have filament in there. Were we supposed to have put filament in? Yes. Because, yes. Last step is not the filament schools. Well, we'll read your instructions. Adjust the right knobs until the paper slides between the nozzle and the platform. Oh gosh, there's a lot of calibrating. Oh god. Do it from the front one. I'm gonna slide the paper in, and you can slide, you can slide the right knobs, and let me know. This one needs to come. You have a lot of space. Oh, now it's too tight. Now it's good. Okay. And the back one? Back one I can't do anything with yet because we're not back there. So it'll hit, hit next and it'll move back to the back, I think. Well, it says the right, adjust the right two knobs. I know, but, the, but we're in the okay. way front of the thing. Let's wait. Now adjust the left two knobs. So you got that one. A lot of space left. Oh, no, too much. Too much. Okay, there it goes. Perfect. Oh, too much. Too much. Okay, now it's good. That's okay. Good. Now it's good. Wait. Do the same thing in the back. Just the back two knobs. I can't see the head. Oh, I see. I can feel. I'll feel the feel. Loosening. I'm loosening as well. Can you pull the paper out so I can see? Thank you. Well, I can feel what. Yeah, whoa, no, whoa, 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 you whoa. had way, you had a shitload of time, place to go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do your side. If you pull the paper out, I can just see it from that right here. Pretty much right there. It's like it's clipping now. Your side. Your your side is. It's a. It's a. Hold on. I'm not, your side is too high. There's too much gap. Move the paper, please. I can't because you're stuck. Okay, now move the paper. Oh, wrong way.
Okay, that looks uh, good. I need a little more. It's rubbing against it. The paper's rubbing against it. It says just fit. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay now hit it. Hit next. Uh, other side was good. No, I can't tell. You're, you have the paper in the way. No, the point is I can feel the paper. Oh, that's too much. And yeah, so this side was good. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's good. Please wait. Adjust the right two knobs. Move, move the paper for a sec. Oh, too much. Okay, it's good. Okay. Okay. Now it's gonna go over to the side. Oh, too much. Okay, that's good. Okay. Calibration. Check the paper slide just between. Uh, I think it needs to go down. I can't on, tell. It seems like on the left side. Now it's good. Yep, paper can slide. Just between. Yep. Okay. Seems like the left needs to be just a little tiny bit further. Down. Okay, so, but it's good. There we go. Okay. Okay, how does my nozzle height check out? Height looks good. Approved. That feels much better. Let's go on and lo load some plastic. Okay, which side do I put it in? Press down on the gray rings at the top of the extruders and pull the black. Pull the black guide tubes out. Oh. I'm gonna pull back out. Now okay. feed filament from the back through the tubes Done. until it pops out the front. I'm heating up the extruder so we can load the filament. Which filament, which side does it? Both. I don't, I'm afraid to, I took the, okay, well. Let's see how this goes. This might take a few minutes and watch out, the nozzle is going to get hot. Yes, the nozzle will get hot. So am I supposed to put this in here without the tubes on? Is that the takeaway? Tubes? Yeah, without the tubes. It might take a few minutes though. Okay, well I'm going to do that side. Heating progress. There's heating progress going on right now. Oh, it's almost done. <gasps> it's hot in here. Oh, look at that. It's a little level, tells you the heating progress. It, it heats up that much faster. Holy crap. Oh, the fans on the step streeters. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited and sweaty. So simple, a child can use it. Is that what it said? Well, so far it seems so. I mean, except for the fact that it gets 230 degrees Celsius. Other but than that. Could, maybe not should. Yeah. Oh, should. Okay, he's ready. Why is it a heat? It could be a sheet. It's it a ready. Maker body. First we'll load the right extruder. First we'll load the right extruder. Push filament in through the gray ring until you feel the motor tugging the plastic in. Oh, whoa, 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 hit the fan. No, no, no. Here, it hit the fan, that's fine. I understand. All right, do you see the, the feel it tugging? You gotta keep that thing out of the way. Tugging a little bit? No. No tugging. You're pushing through there? Okay. Yes. When the filament is extruding out of the nozzle, press M to stop the extruding. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, the first plastic. Yes, they tested extruded. it with green or blue. Great. Now we're gonna le uh, load the left one. Push the filament down on the left one. We don't have any filament in the left one. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, blue. That wasn't white at all. I didn't. I didn't put white in. That's probably what was left over from when they tested it in the back. Okay. So since you don't have spool holders, I'm having to do this just with loose pieces. Which seems a little crazy. All right, you're pushing that filament down. Oh, I got it. Higher up. I got it. Oh, right. I bet that they printed that test thing on our machine. This thing? Yeah. All 
right? Melt and extrude. Come on. If you want to brand yourself really quickly, you can just put your hand under here and then the double, double dot. Easy. It's hooked. So it's the motor. Yeah, the motor. The motor is it. going. I can feel it. Okay. It's going. Well, then, yeah. It's, it should be melting. Oh, there it goes. It's red. Why is it red? That's because it left over. Again, the exact same reason the other one was blue. There it goes. So it'll get to black eventually. So you want to hit there it? There it goes. Stop. I hit the M. Yes, it extruded. Okay. How to go? Ready to try print? Uh, yeah. Let's yes. try print. Do we have? You, you have I have about three feet of plastic on each one. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Let's go try print, and then we'll be back. Yes. All right. Let's go try print. Okay. Well, we're going to go load up an SD card, and we're going to go test the print, but that's... This is the new MakerBot replicator. The new MakerBot. Yeah, we'll be doing more with it in the coming weeks uh, that was and days. Easy calibration, easy setup. I mean, it's we're sweating. You're that's still sweating. It's, 90 that's, degrees That's because of our office, not because of how yeah. difficult it was. Yeah. So MakerBot, uh, we'll be back later with more from Tested. I'm well. Norm. See you guys.